Hello friends and welcome back to Mila Educations. In this video, we are going to see how to set up a G Suite tenant. Guys, to set up the G Suite tenant, we just need to perform 4-5 steps and then we'll be done. As you can see on the screen, we just need to have this URL and then we will be going through the complete registration and G Suite setup wizard. We will be of course providing some information that will be uh, required and then we will be uh, requested to you know create few users while the tenant setup which is optional you can skip that and then we are going to verify the domain ownership with google by adding a txt record to our dns control panel and finally we are going to add some mx record as i saw you in the last video and if you have already created those MX records uh, in your DNS control panel, you can skip that. All right, so let's see how to set up the G Suite tenant. All right, as I, as I told you, we need to go to gsuite.google.com and from there, we can just go ahead and click on start free trial. All right, so here we are. Now we need to fill in some information. So let's do that. I'll just fill up some information which is relevant to me and make sure you are filling up the information which are relevant to you. Okay. My business name, then my employees number, and then country. You need to select your country, whatsoever is applicable for you, and then click on next. Then here you need to provide the contact information and this contact information will be used uh, as an administrator uh, contact information. So I'm just going to fill in that. All right, so I have an email address that I'll fill in here. Then I'll fill in the contact number. All right, so on the next screen, as you can see, this is asking, does your business have a domain? So of course we have, we are, if you'll click on no, then it is going to redirect you to buy one domain. So as we already have a domain, we are just going to select this option. Yes, I have one that I can use. So let's click on it. All right, so it's asking, what's your domain name? Fine, so let's fill in that. My domain name is this, milaeducations.in. All right, let's fill in that and click on next. Okay, use this domain to set up the account. Email sent to milleducation.in won't be affected until you set up email with this account. That's fine, um, not worry about that. Let's click on next. Okay, now it's asking how you will sign in. You will use your username to sign in into your G Suite account and create your business email address. That is fine, of course. And I'll just fill in admin. And so this, uh, guys, this this uh, user account is going to act as an administrator account. So I'm just filling in admin and nothing else. So uh, this just admin. And as you can see, the domain name is already being highlighted. Uh, and this is not clickable. It's milaeducations.in and I'll choose my password, whatsoever password I need. And I'll just say I'm not a robot, of course. Um, okay, and let's click on agree and continue.
all right it's taking a while to verify the information and the passwords and everything that we feed in I'm not going to save it all right so as you can see uh, this is now saying that your G Suite account has been created that's cool and ready to set up your business account and get admin at mileducation.in working with Gmail mm -hmm. well walk you through each step fine let's let's do that go to setup click on it Voila, that's good welcome to the admin console that's cool yeah wow so ultimately we have kind of come to the pace we were waiting for and as you can see verify mail education dot in as I told you in the beginning we would need to verify our domain right so we are just going to click on it verify and as you can see this is saying that sign in to verify your domain that's fine I just clicked on that and let's see what's happened. Great. So it has already sensed that my domain belongs to Godaddy and it's saying that let's click on connect for the authorization. Okay, let's connect. All right, so meanwhile, this uh, verifying your domain task process is running. We can just wait and watch. All right, guys, so unfortunately, um, I ended up with this error. Try verifying Mela Education starting again so that you own this domain name. All right, so I'm just going to attempt it again. Verify. And now I'm not going to, you know, follow this process. I intentionally clicked on this to show you some time that happens and you should be aware of it. So nothing to be panic about. I'm just going to use another verification method. Okay. Let's click here and see. It's saying that you have this many options to verify your domain. Automatic activation. I'm not going to do that now and now we have this txt record verification method so i'm going to choose this one i'll click on create a txt record and click next fine it's saying that is it continue and of course uh, once i click on continue it should show me something like txt record oh here we are okay so guys this is very important to note that this txt record you need to add in your dns control panel and how to do that let's let's see that just copy this and go to your DNS control panel and add txt 
now you need host txt value and ttl values so let's see if the information is available here okay mm -hmm. okay fine all right so host we can just feed in this add and then we have to give txt value the verification txt record that you can see above and then you can select the tdl to one hour and then you can save it great so all the information is there and we are going to now copy the txt record and in host we are going to say add and then we are going to paste in the key which which was there and then we have to select the ttl value and then we have to click on save all right so this record is going to be saved yeah it's in progress so uh, guys as you can see the txt record that we were supposed to add it's already added here and now we are going to click on verify domain so as you can see our uh, domain verification is completed and we are having option to create a users but I'm not going to create it as I can show you later on how to create users so there is no point in creating users right now at this stage and uh, I'm just going to click on skip for now And that's great uh, it's asking me to send a test email then send a test email let's see how it goes hi Mila welcome to G Suite send it okay test email sent go to Simul I've just clicked on the admin console to just quickly jump into the admin console right and so ah, that's great 40 days left for a G Suite basic trial to expire okay fine and guys congratulations we are done with completely setting up the G Suite tenant this is how this tenant setup stuff work and as you can see uh, all the you know functions features admin console everything is available here we will be having a complete overview of all these features and functions in further videos uh, for now this is it uh, and thanks for your time great um, i'll just like to see if the test email is received yeah that's great hi Mela and welcome to G Suite cool so email is working fine our tenant setup is done and as you can see admin at Mila education start in uh, the account information we filled in there uh, this is appearing here okay and this account will be used for administration you know administration work at this tenant thank you guys please like subscribe and share if you have any questions, suggestion, or any new content request, you are requested to please write down in the comment box. Thank you.